Good evening, one and all. Hey guys. It's Michael. You know who I am. And uh, this is the return of our three cents. Yep. We haven't done a movie review in quite, quite a long time. And we're starting a new sub-genre of them called... It's just going to be... I don't know. Midnight Movie Pass? Something. Something? Haven't totally decided. But we got our movie passes in the mail um, last, week. last week. And we went and used them today for the first time. Which, by the way, is super easy. Mm -hmm. Super, super easy to use. Um, no issues whatsoever. And, um, yeah. So, we're going to start doing this once a week. Hopefully. Go see something new that comes out on a Thursday. And review it for you. It'll be something new every week, obviously. Yep. Uh, and uh, sometimes if it's something that... There's like, there's like a slow movie week. We may re we may just go watch something that we really had no desire to see to begin with, just to watch it because it's free. Yeah. So why not? I mean, we're gonna be able to go to the movies a lot. So a lot more now, and it's gonna be free. Uh huh. Well, ten bucks a month, but hell, the ticket we bought today was nine was ten twenty four with tax, and so it's already paid for it. Yeah. Paid for itself already. So. Um, so what did we go see? We went and saw The Foreigner tonight. We were debating between The Foreigner and Happy Death Day. Uh, I wanted Jackie Chan, so we went to see The Foreigner. Mm -hmm. And it was everything I hoped it would be. I had no expectations, so I was pleasantly surprised um, with it. I haven't seen a Jackie Chan movie in a long, long time. The last one I saw was Rush Hour. So yeah. I haven't seen anything of his in quite a long time. And it was quite pleasant. Um, I I guess I had forgotten what his movies are like because I hadn't seen so many. Um, it had action, but it wasn't. there wasn't a lot of action. It was kind of like a slow, slow pace movie. Mm -hmm. It was just kind of chill, and yeah. it was, it wasn't like crazy action, guns shooting, blow ups all the time. It was just really mellow and really chill. It was, uh, it was quite different for a Jackie Chan movie. Um, oh, I haven't seen really any of his more modern stuff, but. Um, I'm a big fan of his older movies, um, a lot of them. Project Day, Operation Condor, I'm on the Bronx, uh, stuff like that. Um, and it's it's not as, like Michael said, it's not quite as action-oriented. There's a couple of fight scenes, and the fight scenes that are there are fantastic. Mm -hmm. They're done beautifully, like always. But there's really only, like, two main ones. Um, and I think that that probably has more to do with Jackie Chan's age than anything else, because he's 68 now, I think, 69, something like that. Um, so it probably has to do with the fact that he is getting a little bit older. Um, so they were still relying... still doing his own stunts, though. Mm hmm It seemed that they were relying more on... This was a cat and mouse game. He was outsmarting his opponent. He wasn't relying on. He wasn't relying on just being able to burst in and beat him up. He was outsmarting him at every mm -hmm. turn. And there wasn't the kind of comedy that you usually find in the Jackie Chan movie. And that is not a detractor. I'm not saying that in a bad way. This just is not a comedic movie. No. There are some points where I kind of laughed out loud. But it, it's not a movie that's meant to be funny. It was very dramatic. Yeah. And, I mean, it was like a revenge flick, kind mm -hmm. of. Yeah. But uh, it's really, really good. Um, Pierce Bronson, you know, 007. 
Wow. Um, just quality Ooh. in everything that he's in. Yeah. That's all there is to it. This was very... I, I Not to spoil anything, but I expected him to be like the actual... Like, it, he's portrayed as you don't know if he's the good guy or a bad guy. And at the end, they... I mean, they reveal it at the end, but the whole movie, I, it kept me guessing. It was like, okay, is he behind all this? Does he, does he really not know who's doing this? I, does he have the names or what's going on? And so even, even with the ending, I mean, you really, you don't know for sure if he really was behind it or if he was just being used. Yeah. They did a very, very good job of keeping that ambiguous enough to where mm -hmm. you can kind of make up your own mind. And, of course, Pierce, Pierce Brosnan did an amazing job of playing that line so well. Yeah. Where he was obviously not a good guy, but you don't know if he was this particular bad guy. Like, okay, he's a bad guy, but he may not be the bad guy that we're looking for. You know? And he played that beautifully. Mm -hmm. You know, he was so overly confident in every scene, unless he was in a scene with Jackie Chan, which was really only twice, but one that one particular one at the farmhouse. Mm -hmm. He wasn't, he, he lost every single bit of confidence that just flew out the window. And it's amazing. Yeah. Um, yeah. Not much else I can say. I mean, it. Yeah, I mean, as I said it's a really good cat and mouse story. You really stay invested in everything that's going on, and this is one of those movies where you don't want to. You don't want to step away to go to the bathroom. You need to be in there every minute watching. Yeah, because it's like every minute you something else happens that you need to see or you need to hear to understand what's going on because there's so much there's so many little information drops throughout the movie that you need to keep track of to be able to understand at the end what really happened yeah. you know because at the end they just start throwing everything at you at once and if you can't remember all this little stuff you're going to be like wait what Wait, what? And it's not a long movie mm -hmm. at all. It really it's isn't. Less than two hours. And uh, even even though it's got a slow pace, it doesn't feel like it's a slow, drawn-out movie. It, there's enough to keep you interested that you don't get bored mm -hmm. with it. Um, so it's not a long movie, but it's not a short movie. I don't know how to describe it. It's it's just it's just the right amount of length. Yeah. Especially all things considered, story wise, pacing, the lack of action. So it's it's good stuff. And I just wanted I just wanted to say this a last thing. Jackie Chan plays a broken man so well. Mm -hmm. You really feel his pain in it. He doesn't smile once. I don't think you see him smile once throughout the movie. Except at the very beginning. Yeah. But he just, he plays, he plays defeated and broken so well. And as soon as that switch hits where he's like, okay, I'm done playing games. It's my turn to take over. You see his demeanor change. Mm -hmm. You know? He doesn't get happy, he just gets focused. Yeah. And he does that so well. For somebody who doesn't have a super expressive face, he's able to do a lot with his eyes. You know? And, yeah. Uh, highly, highly recommend this movie. Yep. I would go see it again. I'm not even kidding. Um, so Hell, I'd almost pay to go see that movie. Because we didn't yep. pay. To I would have paid. If we hadn't had this movie pass, yeah, I was planning on seeing this no matter what. So, uh, so that's all I got. I don't know about this guy right here, but until then, we see you next week. I don't know what we're gonna watch next week. So, 
There's a bunch of interesting stuff out next week. So mm -hmm. for mi for midnight for, for new stuff. So yeah. we'll see. So um, be sure to like and subscribe for movie reviews. Now movie reviews on a weekly basis, unboxings on a weekly basis, collection videos on a weekly basis, and uh, Jonathan's uh, 46 Challenge Halloween edition with the uh, Chucky movies. Which more will be coming soon. I have three more shot. Uh, and I'm probably going to shoot another one tomorrow. And then I'm going to start working on getting them all uploaded. So, so there, 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 there is more coming. And yeah, a lot more movie reviews will be coming. Especially now that we have this movie pass. Because mm -hmm. I'm probably going to start going like on Tuesdays. And just seeing random movies. I um, might just start picking, purposely picking stuff I have no real desire to see. Just because. Like My Little Pony? Except for that. No. 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 There's not enough alcohol at movie theaters to make me go in and watch that movie. Where I will probably go see It again. And maybe again after that. I don't know. But. So yeah, we may, we may start doing some solo reviews as well. So. Yeah. Because he's going to be going to be able to go at times I'm not going to be able to go. And I'm not going to be able. And I'm going to be able to go at times that he's not going to be able to go. So. Yeah. So, until then, blessed be. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.